Hello everyone, I'm Vincent White, still an employment attorney, and uh, talking about talking about racism today, which awkward because I'm so white that I'm like kind of like piggy pink at this point, uh, pink pink like a piglet. So, um, probably not often my place to talk about, unless I'm representing my clients, which I think is very different. But, um, so Yelp, kind of a failing review site, you know, they give you like restaurant recommendations, you leave reviews, it's, it's from like the early aughts, the early 2000s. Um, people use Google now, they don't really use Yelp very much, Yelp is like a dead business. But they're, they're trying new things, they're trying to be relevant again. I think that's admirable, right? And one of the things they're trying is they're trying to do uh, alerts, alerts on businesses that are, um, that have, have done or said or are known to display like racial, racially insensitive things. Like they're essentially racist businesses, right? And Whoa, got quite got quite the reaction when they rolled that one out. Um, when I heard it, my initial reaction was, "Oh, that's great," but there's a problem because every time you know someone calls me up and I hear their story, I'm like, "Hey, listen, I, I'd love to be able to help. I just I, I don't know if I can help with this one, and I'd hate for you to like go through the process and go through all the the pain and suffering and of fighting a court case." Um, when I don't know that we're necessarily going to be successful on this case and that person would then get mad at me and, and go on my reviews and say I'm racist, right? That's very common. It takes nothing to do that. I don't, and frankly, systemic racism is true. Probably everyone's a little bit racist as per Avenue Q, right? Like it's probably accurate, right? It's probably accurate that I have unconscious failings and trappings of racism that I need to actively work on, right? That is probably accurate. But I don't know how great it is to have anyone running around just, I don't like my pizza, you're racist, right? And people will do that, right? Not, not the kind of people who really oppose discrimination, not the kind of people who, you know, hire us, who, who in their workplace, uh, they're fighting their claim, it's, it's a very principled thing that's different right that's it's very involved they're putting a lot of themselves into that it's a huge bar it's a huge barrier to entry there's a lot they have to do it's difficult and onerous and they're doing it because it's the right thing when you're just writing a review that's different there's no barrier to entry and bad people will write whatever they can to hurt a business that they just don't like right every bar whoever had somebody get too drunk in the bar was like hey buddy you gotta go you gotta go, you're too drunk, sorry man. Racist, uh, well that's problematic, right? That's not great, that's not helpful either. Um, and it has the effect of not helping people in protected classes who who are actively hoping to avoid discrimination by reviewing these alerts, these notifications of racist businesses. Um, if all the businesses are labeled as racist, then they actually have less warning. They have they have no ability to know which of the ratings are real, and they're always going to feel uncomfortable because there's always going to be a racist warning. That was my first day. Turns out, I'm an idiot. Sort of. Um, what Yelp is actually doing is they're going to be doing these racist business alerts tied to things that journalists put out. So um, I'll give you an example. There was a New York-based attorney a year or two ago, went into a deli. Apparently, this fella had some very strong opinions about immigration and race and a number of hateful things, right? And for whatever reason, maybe he didn't get a sandwich fast enough, he decided he was going to let everybody know how he felt about a variety of people who weren't born in the U.S. or who actually probably were born in the U.S., who he perceived were not born, right? Like, just nonsense. Hateful, racist, national origin discrimination, immigration status discrimination, just the works, right? He vomited so much hate into this crowded deli at the top of his lungs, and he was videotaped while he was doing it. Well, 
obviously his business was destroyed because that was reported on. That video went viral. Reporters picked it up. People identified him. And uh, yeah, I think they might still be there, frankly. I, I don't really know. Um, but it was a law firm, I think, a couple blocks away from here. We don't know them. Just to, We don't know them. And I have to imagine that guy should have lost 90 to 95% of his clients, right? Because who wants, I mean, first off, a hateful attorney. But second off, an attorney whose judgment is so bad, so bad, that he decided to spew hate while everybody's videotaping him and destroy himself, right? And that was, you know, printed up in articles, posted online, it, it was in the media. And so what Yelp is proposing is in that situation, they would take the media reports, which theoretically are upheld to some level of journalistic integ integrity, of journalistic procedure, and, uh, you know, going through the check marks, making sure the checklist is, you, you, you've sourced everything correctly, you have corroboration, all the things that journalists are supposed to do or used to do or, you know, that process. And Yelp would go through that and say, okay, journalists have done their thing. This seems to be verified. I will now post the, the warning that this business is racist. And that's a pretty good idea, I think. I think that's a useful feature. Um, it might even be a feature that Google, who's the real keeper of reviews these days, right? Uh, Google Location does a much better job with uh, reviews now because it's on your phone. Um, maybe they want to look at that future. Maybe that's useful, right? Maybe that's going to be like the the booklets that African American people had to use traveling around the country in decades prior, so they would know which businesses were safe to stop at, and wouldn't wouldn't have white people actively trying to harm them or or worse, right? Um, and, and listen, I hope we've made some progress. Clearly not enough progress, but I mean, I hope we're not at the point where African Americans need a special book to know where it's safe to travel anymore. Um, although frankly, in some parts of the country, I don't know. But, but that being said, I don't think this is a terrible idea from Yelp. I like the verification. I like that just not just any user can go and do that. Now, any user can go leave you a review and say this jerk's racist, right? Um, and that's always going to sting when, when as a business owner, you're like, well, I've I don't think so. I don't think that's true. This is what actually happened. But that's the point. If, if somebody says something that you don't think is true in a review, I think on all the platforms, you can respond, right? You can say, actually, here's what really happened. This is why this person's saying this. This is what they did. This is how we were forced to respond because of what they did. And this is where things ended up, right? So. As much as people want to rage and, and complain about the Yelp situation and this new innovation from Yelp, I think it's a pretty good idea. It might serve to keep people safe. And there's a there's a measure of accountability, right? If you're the person who wants to go say hateful things about a group of people, people should know that about you. There's value in knowing who you're doing business with and just being able to say, oh yeah, I don't, I don't agree with you. Those those things you said, those things are hateful. I do not agree, and I would rather not give you my money, right? Um, so I, I suppose I'm rambling, but my initial reaction was wrong. I, the more I looked into the Yelp situation, it seems like a good idea, and uh, hats off to Yelp. Way to, way to come up with something new. I hope it helps someone.